we spoke right before the NASCAR Hall of Fame induction. You said, well, he, he would say he was proud of me, but he would also say some other things. And I think one thing that you mentioned at that time was he would say, well, you didn't quite fulfill your potential as a driver, and, and I agree. And, and Can you sort of explain that a little bit? <laughs> yeah. I, um, I didn't realize the work ethic needed to, um, to be as great as I could possibly be. I got partnered up with Budweiser, which had Dad lived, he would have seen. He would have probably encouraged me successfully to um, be a, better at applying myself. Hey, we'll uh, come and get four tires. We didn't come here to run third. We come here to take all the money. But when he passed away, I had this. Um, there were a lot of emotions that came with that. One of the emotions, which was um, uncontrollable, I felt guilty about it, but it was uncontrollable. I couldn't, like I didn't get to choose how I felt. When, when, when something like that happens in your life, you don't choose the emotions you're having, they're happening. I had all the traditional ones that you might imagine, um, terrible, terrible sadness and, and dark, dark depression. But I had a, uh, I had this odd, odd, strange feeling of being freed from some hmm. limitation or some bind, some 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 sort of mental binding. You want to know what winning this race means to someone? Have a look. Dad was always a ceiling to protect me. He wasn't gonna let me get too crazy. He wasn't gonna let me. He wasn't gonna let me, you know, buy that car that I didn't need to get. He was this sort of protective. Yeah, a wall sort on of. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and that was gone. Mm -hmm. And now I had this feeling of some sort of freedom that was very dangerous, you know, and scary. Like, where's my leader? Where's my leadership? It's my leadership's gone. I could walk. I can walk outside and drive down the driveway and go anywhere in the world I want to go. I can go choose to whatever it is I want to do right now in this very minute. I can just do it. I don't have to tell Dad that's where I'm headed. I don't have to tell him I'll be back later. Mm -hmm. I don't have to tell anyone anything. I'm There's no one to tell. That was a that was not much of a it wasn't a blessing. Um, and it was uh, it was really scary. Giving a hug to his son. What a great moment. Well, I couldn't believe it. I thought, thought I could get up there and give Jared some trouble. And I looked in my mirror and hear this thing come. He adjusted it on the wall back there, it looked like, and got it running better.